Welcome to our 4th of July shipping video. Well, it's actually going out on the 5th of July, but it's the, it's the Independence Day weekend in the USA, and we're wishing you guys all a very, very happy holiday weekend. Now, all the guitars we have going out this weekend are actually going out to the USA uh, purely by chance. And uh, so we, uh, we have such a great connection with the USA and have had for many, many years and really all my life. Uh, so it's, uh, it's great to have a connection between Ireland and USA and especially this very, very special holiday weekend. So what we're doing in the shipping videos, we're looking at all the guitars we made on the previous week, uh, where they're going to around the world, and in this case, all USA. And uh, we're also doing a technical review as well. This week it's on the X30. So we've been doing that over the last few weeks, selecting a specific model out of the shipping video and, uh, and giving you some technical insights into it. So uh, you're definitely going to enjoy that and, uh, and see exactly why the X30 is such a, uh, a special sounding and feeling guitar. Uh, so it's not just about how it so sounds, it's a guitar that really is about how it feels as well. So, uh, so definitely hang around for that. Uh, we're also going to look at a couple of um, stock guitars that we have currently in stock in, uh, in, our, uh, in our stock room. So let's jump in and we'll talk about some more things as we go. But it's been great the interaction we've been getting on the shipping video over the last uh, few weeks. And, uh, and especially as well as people have come here and visited the factory. Uh, the one thing that uh, seems to be a highlight on the factory tours when people come around is uh, they come and they see this space and they're like, oh yeah, I've watched this. I watch you every week in the shipping video. So, uh, so thank you for being so... Uh, connected the regulars that watch this week after week and our numbers are really starting to grow so uh, so great to see that and if you are interested in seeing it every week don't forget to subscribe and uh, and keep connected that way so we're talking about uh independence day and all things american um, but this is probably all things irish this is a very irish looking guitar we've got uh, the green and gold going on here so um, a beautiful emerald guitar with uh, with royal ebony on top with a green transparent so the model here is an x7 it's our small body parlor size guitar a uh, really nice compact comfortable design with uh, 12 frets to the body makes it very very easy to play nice and compact uh, but uh, we tend to look at a lot of the the visuals and aesthetics on these and if you're watching this video for the first time i don't play them uh, you'll have to wait until dan and the guys uh, a little bit later in the video they'll uh, do some playing on the X30 but uh, for me I'm talking to you about the the cosmetics and the specifications so uh, Royal Ebony with green looks fantastic the uh, carbon with green transparent on the back and sides goes so well with it and then check out the inlay it's uh, it's the gold Celtic knots and uh, and then the green infinity knot at the 12th fret um, so that looks so so nice the pickup system we've got here is uh, Graftech Piezos with the K&K Pure Minis inside, which is very versatile. And uh, actually, I'll just refer to something that I read online. So somebody was saying about how they had, uh, they had put the wrong cable into their guitar and realized it wasn't working. And what they did was put a stereo cable into the guitar and, uh, and put it into a mono uh, input into uh, an amplifier. And what that did is it only ten takes one signal, so one pickup out of your guitar. So half of the guitar, it was a virtual and it, half of it wasn't working. So what we use uh, for our, our jacks here, it's a switch jack. And, uh, and that goes between stereo and mono. So when you put a stereo cable in here, it'll split the signals. In this case, it'll be the Graftex on one channel and the k, &K Pure Minis on the other channel. Or in the virtual, it'll be the Graftex and, uh, on one channel and the... Uh, the humbuckers on the other channel. So uh, it's very versatile, but you can put a mono cable in there and it'll put everything together. Uh, so you have that choice. So uh, so something always to watch for. If you're buying one of these guitars that have uh, the Graftech system in it, really you need to make sure that you're using the right kind of uh, um, cord for it. Don't use a uh, stereo jack, or you may have problems unless you are going into stereo output at the other end. So, uh, so yeah, that's a, a really nice, emerald to start with so that's going out to joe in california so actually we should have a little look at where we're going to so california to illinois to idaho to west virginia to michigan colorado back to illinois and uh, ohio california finishing up in kentucky so right across the states uh right alan foss in uh, illinois 
and uh, again with a an X7 but this is an X7 nylon so uh, we often build the X7 or, or the, the nylon guitars on our uh, 12 or sorry our X20 body uh, but here it is on the X7 so uh, so that works well on the X7 as well uh, really nice compact um, nylon string guitar so uh, what we've got going on here we've got an X7 body we've got the slotted headstock so we modify the guitar uh, for the headstock we add this uh, headstock has been carved out of a solid billet of carbon fiber uh, which is uh, such a nice design um, really really nice so we, we machine this rather than mold it uh, it's really the only way we can get the effect that we're looking for there uh, it's added on afterwards and replaces the original head uh, we also build the whole body quite different the top is uh, is made lighter and more responsive uh, to work really well with nylon strings so uh, it's not just we're not just taking the same guitar and, uh, and putting different strings on it it's really quite a different instrument in how it's built um, so we've got nylon strings we've got the adjustable bridge here as well which uh, is really cool works well on the nylon guitars we've got the offset lines in black and uh, as you see this is that blue carbon so really nice dark transparent blue and uh, a beautiful nylon okay so now we're going to idaho Alan in Idaho. So the last time that I was in the US for Independence Day was in Idaho, uh, up in the lakes in uh, 2019. So just before COVID, uh, we went up there and we spent, uh, we spent um, a couple of weeks there uh, on the lakes with the family. So uh, yeah, really cool place. So Alan, uh, Alan's gone for an X10. So it's an X10 with uh, the LR bags pickup system. Uh, so you get a volume and tone control and an under saddle piezo here for that uh, We've got the green over the uh, black carbon So that nice deep dark green and then we've got the inlay. Here's the offset lines in white with hedge on The 12th fret I'm not sure what the significance is of the name, but again really nice to be able to add in your uh, your name there on the on the the 12th fret green carbon back and sides and uh, we've got the black Goto 510 tuners. Now, from there we're going to West Virginia, to John. And John has gone for um, a uh, beautiful Virtuo. So the Virtuo is our slim body guitar. It's got that combination between the Fisherman Fluence humbuckers. So it's really like an electric guitar right here with the Fisherman Fluence. It's got the Graftech piezo, so you've got the, the best of both worlds. You've got that piezo uh, acoustic sound, but also it's an acoustic body. So this isn't a solid body guitar, it's a hollow acoustic body guitar. Uh, so that's why it gives you a really nice full acoustic sound. So, uh, so it gives you the best of both worlds. You get a great uh, electric sound, great acoustic sound, blend them all together for some really unique tones. And 13 pin out if you really want to get uh, experimental and, uh, and play really any sound. Blend them all together on board, and uh, you've got your three-way for your Fishmans. Uh, three different sounds in the Fishmans so that can be chosen with the push pulls, and uh, three-way to choose between uh, magnetic, magnetic and piezo, or piezo only. So uh, a lot of control in this guitar. Love the the top of this. Um, so Royal Ebony with a really really nice print, and uh, very nice to see you know the difference between a. Uh, the natural Royal Ebony and then uh, Royal Ebony with the transparent color over the top. So uh, so this guitar would have been these sim similar kind of colorations, put the transparent over the top and uh, and that's what you get. But uh, yeah, it's really nice in either way. We, uh, we do a lot with color. Uh, I think you're gonna see uh, a red one here as well, but in its natural form as well, it's, uh, it's really quite a beautiful thing. Uh, beautiful details. I love this uh, little detail running down here at the bottom. Uh, like a little spaceship just uh, flying up into the, the, the center of the guitar. We've got uh, the white rings on the fretboard. And then we've got a teal back and sides. Teal has become very popular. Um, we've been seeing a lot of teal guitars going through here. Uh, it's got a beautiful color, very nice tone, and, uh, and works well along with that as a contrast. So that is going to John. Now, Justin in Michigan. Now this is uh, an X20, uh, first of a few X20s coming up. 
So the X20 is sort of our dreadnought size guitar, uh, really nice all rounder, and uh, but with the great ergonomics that we offer on our guitars. So uh, this is American Walnut and uh, beautiful piece. Um, got uh, really nice colorations on it and this, uh, that nice little detail uh, fanning in around the end of the fretboard there. Um, very, very nice. The pickup systems, the Graftex with the K&K Pure Minis inside. We've got uh, the silver vines with gold infinity knot at the 12th fret. And if we check out the back and sides, black carbon. So uh, I think that's a nice choice for that, a nice classic choice and uh, really nice coloration. Now we're heading to Colorado. This is going to Sean in Colorado. I love this. Oh wow, check this. Um, so Colorado is a place that I've been as well and, and love. Uh, I've had some great times there hiking in the mountains in Colorado around Boulder. Um, but uh, this is uh, an X2012 string. So we did a video, one of the shipping videos, we focused on 12 strings a couple of weeks ago. Um, so you can get more insights if you want to look back in the archives. But uh, the 12 strings are really something special for us. I think they really speak of what is so good about carbon fiber. Uh, it allows us to build a, a 12 string guitar that's very strong and stable and, uh, and doesn't go out of tune the same way as a regular wooden guitar will. And that's the thing you hear people talking about the most, just as the stability and the, you know, how in tune they sound, uh, how easy they are to live with, how they don't have to worry about them, how they play them more because they're not worried about having to keep it away in a case to keep it humidified. And, uh, and that's a lot of things that are really important. You know, especially say you're, you know, somewhere in the, the really dry parts of Colorado uh, where a guitar can just get dried out and crack and you can have so many structural problems. So, uh, so having a 12 string guitar made of carbon makes a lot of sense. And having one that looks so beautiful, um, that just is a really a big icing on the cake. Uh, so check this out. This is um, Royal Ebony Veneer. So you can really see how the effect of adding the color over the veneer works so well on this guitar. Uh, beautiful reds. Then the inlay choice is very inspired here. Um, it's got the black vines with the red dots. And, uh, and that just goes so well with the black and red figuring on the, on the top of that. So, uh, so that's the kind of thing that works really good on the shipping video. You get to see these ideas uh, and how they come together. So uh, yeah, I think that's a really good idea. It's something that we should probably use more when we're designing these for stock. Uh, and uh, I'm sure more people when they see this are gonna think, yeah, red with uh, black and red inlay is, uh, is gonna work good. Um, so black hardware, definitely the right choice. Red carbon back and sides, again, I think the right choice. And I think that is just near perfection there. That's just stunning. Love that. Love that combination. Well done, Sean. Now, Stephen in Illinois. And I don't like singling out one guitar because everyone is special and everyone is, uh, has got his own beauty. But every now and again, there's just one that just stands out to me and that, that really stands out to me. Um, but I mean, this is beautiful too and a great choice. Um, and, uh, and you guys do really great designs, I have to say. So uh, I've got Candy Stripe Paduk. So Candy Stripe Paduk has this beautiful red coloration running through it. This one also has some combinations of black areas. Uh, which we don't see so often, but uh, works really well in that. And um, a lot of nice detail running through it. And then you've got the sort of the golden uh, browns that are running through that as well. So that then I think catches well with the, uh, the gold inlays, the offset lines. So you just get that little gold flash that's connecting with the gold that's running through the body. Uh, very much similar in the colorations to what we've got going down here. Black hardware and then an amber back and sides. So again, a very unified design, uh, all works so well together. So another X2012 string, uh, Eller Bags Element pickup system, and uh, a piece of art. Now, we are starting to talk about X30. So as I said, the X30 is the, the guitar that we're featuring this week. And uh, we wanna tell you all about just why it sounds so good and feels so good. So the guys are upstairs and they're going to give you a little bit of insight about these guitars.
Hi guys, welcome back to the player suite here up at Emerald Guitars. Myself, Dan and Kev are going to have yep. a closer look at the X30 range of jumbo acoustics that we have on offer today. Kev, the X30, it's, we call it the jumbo acoustic because yep, we sure do. the big body size. This is the biggest acoustic that we make and it really comes across in, uh, in the tone of it. it Lots does, of really yeah. nice bass response and volume from it. The X30 has been a real kind of coming a fast favorite after the kind of X20 yeah. from our acoustic range. As we said before, it's got unbelievable bass response especially in the the low e string everything else uh sometimes you get kind of country players folk players um that's maybe big strummers yeah and they want to get that big sound sometimes a dreadnought might be a little bit too bright whatever um and when we kind of bring something like the x into the fold in yeah. you're getting that nice big thick beautiful deep responsive strumming yeah sound and picking as well of course yeah so yeah We'll do a wee bit of playing just to sort of show mm -hmm. off the different tones that we can we can get out of them. Of course. Um, this is definitely a great option for anyone that wants to be heard in the crowd. I agree, Good acoustic yeah. response. As well as that, on the X30, we've got all the great uh, sort of ergonomic benefits that we're going to go over in a wee bit more detail now in a little while. And the heelless neck design. That means that you've got great access the whole way up the whole fretboard. You do, surely, yeah. Especially for all kind of lead players, everything else. Um, yeah. You just really want to get up under the kind of higher register of the guitar yeah. excellent kind of access perfect so as far as options of course we went through uh the x20 models last week mm -hmm. we've got a few different options as far as bridges and pickups obviously hardware and things like that as standard with everything we've got loads of different options to play about with we can see here that you've got a nice veneer uh nice non-veneer which is a yeah. carbon finish well the one i'm holding today has that nice kind of vibrant purple um, as you can see the backs and sides is the same and it's also been fitted with um, high vibe pickup and this is actually the new high vibe that we've just received there yep. recently in the last month or two um, all built on effects everything else uh, looping capabilities um, some other nice things there can be used with bluetooth capabilities yep. everything else so the high vibe basically turns the guitar into a smart guitar yep so this little preamp interface on the side of the guitar lets you switch between a whole pile of onboard built-in effects like delays reverbs chorus yep, of course and you've even got the ability to strum in your own loops yep. and practice with yourself and then that actually comes back the sound of that actually comes back out of the guitar it does yeah it, uh, there's two actuators underneath yep, the bridge here, underneath and that excites the, bridge. the top of the guitar so that's correct yeah you basically don't have to plug into an ex external no 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 it's if and first people travel and everything else too people going yeah. camping it's it's really ideal it's such a smart device for any guitar so cool so we both have the uh, standard non-adjustable bridge on this we one. Sure do. This is the classic bridge whenever we think of acoustic guitars. It's a, it's a fixed saddle. Um, but we also do offer this with the adjustable saddles and the we Ghost do, yes. piezo system. We do, yes. You can go for the, the Graftec uh, piezo yep. system and you can obviously pair that as well with a K&K. &K. Yep. And that way then you can blend between the two pickups. So loads of choices there. Of course, yeah. And outside of six strings, we've also got this big bad boy behind yep. us too the x3012 yeah which has actually become really popular as a kind of second 12 string after maybe um the x2012 yeah you can see it's a beautiful kind of power ferro veneer top there a beast of a guitar yeah loads of power there's loads of volume so, on that yeah, one we were really as yeah recording some uh, music here for this video and uh -huh. I, had, I had to turn down the volume <laughs> whenever i started playing over the the 12 string it really packs of course, a bunch. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, great guitar so we've also got uh, a baritone which you don't really feature a lot on the website but if you're interested in a baritone x30 you can get in touch with yourself and oh, davy myself and davy yeah the the baritone x30 baritone isn't like a standard model but if you do go to the 3d builder and you select x30 you will see that you can select a 27 inch scale yeah which allows us to tune a bdb which will give you that kind of nice baritone yeah. tuning and then once again when we talk about that heavy bass response 
Yeah, that's a it really, really works for really, really really good combination. Yeah, it's something so. we've we've noticed a lot recently with guys coming in here now to the player suite. Um, they'll still pick up an X30 and go, wow, because the base response is so big on it and that volume that mm -hmm. you get that kick off the low E, definitely. <laughs> so let's have a closer look at the, the ergonomics and compare it to something, yep, let's do something it. that you might recognize. Cool. So this is a bit of a comparison now between the J200 from Gibson or Epiphone, which we've got mm -hmm. here, is kind of what people think of. classic, yeah. It's this the classic design. This is kind of what people think of whenever they talk about a jumbo size guitar, isn't it, Kev? I think the... Gibson maybe making them J two hundred since nineteen thirties. Yeah, Something crazy like that. So I think it was nineteen thirty seven. Well, there I you go. Read yeah, it wasn't far away, but <laughs> yeah. um, as we say, uh, this is a real kind of iconic jumbo guitar. When you think of jumbo yeah. guitars, you think of J two hundred. Yeah. If you say the so, word jumbo guitar, you think of one of these automatically, don't you? Yeah. So this is kind of the classic design. Whatever you, you say, jumbo. Um, let's just have a look at what's what's the difference between our jumbo and mm -hmm. you know the classic, right? So we'll put up some details on the screen here about the yeah, actual yeah. depth of the body and uh, the J200 slightly slimmer, not quite as deep on this one, mm -hmm. but whenever we get down here to the the lower bout, the yeah. lower bout, um, I just want to kind of show you how this kind of sits into the body whenever you're playing it. So obviously it comes up quite a bit here. Mm -hmm. So we haven't got the, the curves on this one like we would do on the X30. Well, the best thing about the X30 is that generous forearm bevel yeah that um especially when you're hanging over and i'll pass it over to you now dan yeah. um sometimes especially playing acoustic guitar for long periods of time you're going to you're get a lot of kind of two or something roughing, everything else is going yeah. to be very sore and tender so we'll just swap over yeah if you want to kind of take that so we can see how the j200 sits on you you can really tell here with the ergonomics that it sits in a lot more comfortably to the body. Mm -hmm. So one of the things is obviously this bevel over the top here. So we've no sharp edges. Mm -hmm. Also, the belly cut on the back yep. means that it's actually pulling in closer to your body. So it's it's designed ergonomically to fit into the player. Mm -hmm. Also, I think this is probably one of the most important parts here is the angled it is, yep. thigh cut. Where it just so slides, glides it, straight up the leg. Yeah. Yeah. With, it, with a straight cut, it's sort of... You know, it's not a natural curve that's sitting there, but with this one, it just fits right into you. Perfect so just, for hours of playing, yeah. Yeah, that's just some of the differences in ergonomics that we've been able to incorporate into these designs. Because we're using carbon fiber and our one-piece molding technology, mm -hmm. we can do things that, you know, you really wouldn't find in acoustic guitars, usually. Nope. Um, so that's just another reason to think about the X30. Uh, we'll of course. hear another few sound samples here now. Guys, thanks very much for joining us here in the player suite. Um, don't forget that some of these are actually uh, the customers' guitars that we're, we're looking at through the, the shipping video this week. But we have a big selection of X30s in stock at the minute. We actually have 33 X30s in 33 there. 33 in the current stock at the yep. moment. So if, if anyone is interested, please get in touch with myself, Kev, or Dave as well. We have um, By email, you can call us. And there's also a live chat function on the website yeah. which is really good effective. and you can also of course go on and build your own through the 3d builder yep. spec it's a out lot your of own. fun yep perfect thanks very much folks cheers guys so hopefully that give you a little bit of insight into these guitars and, and what makes them so special and uh and really you know the ergonomics on these uh when you especially when you compare them to a regular big jumbo guitar just make them feel so much more comfortable so this one is going out to gary in ohio and uh it's a as I say, it's a big jumbo X30. It's gonna have that big jumbo sound. And uh, it's got this wonderful purple, uh, the vibrant purple top. Um, so uh, that purple just stands out so much on the vibrant weave. Absolutely love it. Uh, this one doesn't have any inlays on the top. Like you see a lot of the guitars that we have going through at the moment have inlays. But this is beautiful in itself. Just the natural straight black, uh, the unidirectional carbon here uh, makes all the impact just on that big solid block of color there uh, works so well now back and sides again vibrant purple of course and um, yeah look at that it's big it's bold it's purple and it's beautiful so it's got the high vibe pickup system uh, which gives you all those great sounds uh, lots of great options in there and uh, 
and it's a wonderful jumbo. Now, so that's Gary in Ohio. Now we're going to Gus in California. And uh, yeah, check this out. Uh, so this is Zircotti. And Zircotti I love. Um, I've had quite a lot of Zircotti over the years. I've been using it for, I don't know, maybe 15 years now since I first got the, the, the first batch. And um, what I love about it is it looks like it's almost made out of a, a patchwork of different pieces of wood. And, uh, and it's not, it's all unified. It's all the, you know, the same piece, but it's got these very um, distinct lines that, uh, that separate out the, the different areas and patterns. Um, but it really is quite unique and, uh, and very special. Every piece is different. And I love this, uh, this center piece with the, the light wood there as well. Um, so, uh, so beautiful dark chocolate browns and then this uh, golden brown center. Um, inlay is, uh, is the vines in gold with the silver dots and then a gold hardware on the headstock. Uh, the gold go to five tens. Back and sides is red carbon. As a contrast to the top. Uh, so the red and gold works really well together. And, uh, and again, another beautiful jumbo. Now, last one we have this week is going to Michael in Kentucky. Uh, a pretty special guitar to finish off on. So, uh, so we're finishing off on a Chimera. So we're talking about the 12 strings and uh, you know our bodies can uh, can handle a 12 string guitar so well uh, but in this case we've added an extra six string as well so uh, a very strong stable guitar but very resonant as well uh, when you're playing the six string you get all the resonance from the 12 string as well so you don't even have to play both necks at the same time to uh, to get extra enjoyment out of it um, really really cool thing it's uh we've got the graph tech piezos uh, you've got uh, the under saddle pickup here and uh, it's uh, I've got a third pickup in it so it must have the K and K pure minis in there as well uh, just working out with the controls so um, so really great pickup system I've got gold hardware Paul Ferro veneer uh, look at that that's just uh, so nice I love the way it um, has that section that just kind of connects the two uh, the two necks converging right down towards the bottom and uh, amber back and sides. So very, very cool guitar to finish off this week. So, uh, so that's it guys. That's uh, all the guitars that we have from our, our custom section. And, uh, and remember these were all custom made, uh, custom designed by uh, you guys on our 3D builder. And uh, what I was actually meant to say is uh, we're actually out of X2012 strings. So if you go into our shop, if you're wanting like that instant gratification of buy now, get it next week, uh, you can do that. And we always have a, a big selection of guitars available in our stock. But at the moment, we've actually sold out of X2012 strings. So uh, we will have more coming through again, but, uh, but that's what the 3D Builder is for. You know, you can go in there and uh, custom design your own and you'll get it in, uh, in two months time. So as always, if you've got any questions, make sure you get hold of us. Uh, send an email to, um, to uh, Kev and Davey and, uh, at sales at ermelguitars.com and they'll be able to get hold of you and, uh, and talk you through any questions you have. Uh, you can also get us on live chat. Uh, we're available in our live chat. Uh, you can send a message through there 24 hours a day, but we're available to answer uh, generally from, uh, from 8.30 in the morning to 5 p.m. in the evening Irish time. So uh, depending on where you are in the world, hopefully that fits in. So uh, I was actually going to show you a few uh, stock guitars as well. So talking about our stock section, we always have a really nice selection. So as X30 is our guitar of choice this week, uh, I just wanted to show you a few. So Spalt the Chen Chen, amazing pattern on this. On the big body, I think these patterns just stand out even more. Uh, it's got that wonderful top, uh, real great iridescence to it and, uh, and beautiful patterns. Back and sides is amber. Got the high vibe if you're interested in the high vibe pickup system. So that's a, a real beauty there. This one is a quilted maple with, uh, with an amber burst and an amber back and sides. LR Bags pickup system. If you like the carbon finishes, this one here and the red carbon. This one's pure acoustic. 
So all about the acoustic sound. And the last one I have is, uh, is this beautiful piece of, uh, of figured maple. It's um, the maple burl. And uh, the maple burl, when you put a transparent red over the top of it, I always think it looks like a bunch of roses. You know, it's like looking down at the top of a bunch of roses. And uh, it looks so, so nice. A deep, deep red, a vibrant red back and sides. And, uh, and this has got the Graftex and the K&K &K Pure Mini inside. So, uh, so just a few options in our stock currently. Go on there and have a look and there's plenty more. So, uh, so that's it. Uh, last thing I want to tell you about is uh, if you're interested in our American flag guitars, you know, that's something that we've done in the past and, uh, and it's certainly a good day to mention it. Um, you know, we've, uh, we've loved the collaboration between Ireland and America. Uh, right back to whenever I first got inspired to build guitars when I was living in there, uh, living in St. Louis. Um, so, uh, so I think that has really been quite special to us. And uh, we had an opportunity a few years ago to collaborate with Phil Atkinson to do an American flag guitar for uh, Irish American musician, uh, Robert Mazel. And, uh, and he's played it ever since, but that sparked this whole interest of, uh, of us doing guitars as a piece of art with a hand-painted American flag on it. So Phil's done quite a few over the years and, uh, and we're very proud of them. They've been something really special. We've done a couple of really special ones uh, called the Hands of Unity, which has been the Irish and American flags together, uh, bound in two hands, uh, uniting it together. And, uh, and I recently presented one of those uh, to my old boss, Bill Siebold, and uh, that was a really, really special moment. Uh, to give that just to mark, you know, the solidarity between two countries and, uh, and two friends. Um, but we're just about to put together a new batch of those. Uh, we're going to do another uh, run of those with Phil. So if you're interested in one of our American flag guitars, then uh, it's a good time to contact us and, uh, and we're going to put together some more of those. So each one's unique. Uh, there's no two of them the same, but, uh, but each one very, very special. So, uh, so that's the last thing I'm going to leave you with. Uh, I'm going to run a little video just showing you some of the, uh, the ones that we've made over the last while. But uh, whatever you're doing this weekend, enjoy the fireworks, enjoy the friends and fellowship and the fun. And uh, have a very happy Independence Day weekend. I'll see you next weekend. Over the years, we've been very proud to celebrate the strong connection between Emerald Guitars and our customers spread throughout the USA. And we have captured that spirit of unity through the limited series of hand-painted American flag guitars by master artist Phil Atkinson. Phil captures the flowing movement of a flag wrapped around the guitar to give a truly spectacular look. And as each one is hand-painted without any template or design, each guitar is a one-of-a-kind unique masterpiece. We are currently working with Phil on the next limited collection of flag guitars. So if you'd like to commission one of these for yourself, please get in touch with our sales team today at sales at emeraldguitars.com.